Okay, so All righty. Right, what's your name? I'm Jamie. Jamie, thank you very much. Oh wait, you know what? Do it again. Awesome. Oh wait, the whole Just thing? The whole thing. Do it again. Oh, okay. okay, ready? Include Monte Go. Davis. Wherever the gnome is, the mountains okay. are larger oh, so than the ones here in Missoula. And so tell us your prediction again. Oh, well, I'm just kind of hopefully confirming what you guys are thinking. I don't know for sure, but it's like... on your background knowledge of mountain like ranges. Bozeman. Well, yeah. Bozeman? There are definitely some mountains around Bozeman. And why would he be in Bozeman? Uh, well, they're our rivals, no, and, go ahead you know, and uh, probably an easy team to blame for yep. taking something of ours. So, and then go to so our second guys. choice might be Colorado, because there's oh, large know. mountains in Colorado also. Okay. But we're going to go with the Bobcats, because they're nastier than <laughs> Lumberjacks. I'm not sure what... What is Colorado? Are they the bees? I think they're oh, the bees. Yeah, they're the beehives, I think. Stuff. The yellow jackets. But I'd say Bozeman's a good, a good prediction. From Site 4, right? Alright, site four. Are we going? You're going. Alright, we're at point number five. And we changed our prediction and now think that the gnome is at the top of the mountain. Which actually was one of our, our very first gut instincts and you should always go with your first guess, right? Right. Yes. Alright, we're at point number two and we're heading to the globe to find all six clues. Which we came to third. Right. We're a little out of order. Right. But our prediction is still the same, that the gnome is up on the end, up on Mount Sentinel, and the clues that helped us the most were our first clue, where the hills, it was hidden where the hills are larger, the mountains are larger than the hills by the library, and then the clock pointing up to Mount Sentinel. And we think Tim Houck hit it. Yeah, we think Tim Houck hit it. As a joke on Monty. Right, because he was traditionally the number 37. Jersey 37 was started out with Tim Houck, and it was always passed down and given to the hardest hitter. Right, we are at, a, at our last destination, and the clue was you can look out the east windows and see if Monty's dome is still there. So we are standing and sticking with our original thought that the gnome is up somewhere on Mount Sentinel close to the end. We are here at Site 3 in front of the plaque that talks about jersey number 37, how it's passed on from one Montana player to the next who's known as the hardest hitter. So this clue would help us predict that the gnome is someplace in Montana, maybe Bozeman.